the common symptoms and uh, symptoms and signs of cancer every one of us should know most of the times uh, you start from the oral cavity right from the oral cavity to the anal canal if you look at uh, most of the times what you have you have small ulcers coming up in the mouth uh, maybe on the tongue or maybe on the cheek inner side of the cheek or under surface of the lips so these sort of ulcers if the ulcer is growing in size and which is not healing in a week or two weeks time you should certainly show it to a doctor these ulcers usually happen because of the uh, the teeth direction of the teeth either inside or outside hurting it like it might hurt the tongue or it might hurt the cheek and you start developing an ulcer slowly these traumatic ulcer what we call slowly would lead into a malignancies similarly there can be some some uh, sort of a white patches developing within the mouth these what we call it is a leukoplakia and these can be precancerous conditions or precancerous lesions these leukoplakia are some sort of a reddening happening within the oral cavity so these are also called as erythropoietic leukoplakia so these are the early signs and symptoms of cancer happening within the oral cavity so these lesions you need to show them uh, to the doctor or what the doctor does at that point of time would take a history from you that what are the agents you are already using like for example pan parag or these sort of the things might be you might be requested to stop those things and these can go back to normal mucosa that means without developing a cancer they can revert back to the normal mucosa so in the oral cavity you need to look at these ulcers or growths happening around the uh, tongue or inside of the cheek then coming to the throat most of most common symptom what we find is hoarseness of voice that means a normal voice uh, becoming hoarse commonly can happen with a common cold but if the if this hoarseness of voice persists beyond a week or two once a cold goes off or a normal person without a cold if this hoarseness of voice persists you need to definitely consult a doctor this this could be an early sign and a symptom of a throat cancer or a, a lung cancer causing pressure on the nerves so the other problem what we normally uh, look for is while swallowing you might have difficulty in swallowing solid food so if this happens this could be an early sign and symptom of a throat cancer or a esophageal cancer which is otherwise called as a food pipe cancer so whenever a person is having a problem of swallowing and he needs to take a glass or a half a glass of water for every uh, you know uh, solid food uh, he takes he should certainly see the doctor we need to do an examination an endoscopy to see if there is anything a tumor or growth causing obstruction while you are swallowing apart from that if you go to the lungs common problem what you see is a cough now common cough you normally have a person having a cold or a pneumonia can also have cough but if this cough is not going with a routine treatment of a physician with an antibiotics for a week or two you should certainly see the doctor so seeing a doctor and getting a plain chest x ray most often we would be able to see whether you have a problem major problem like cancer so you should certainly see a doctor if you have a cough which is not going within 2 weeks or 3 weeks time then coming to the abdomen uh, most often uh, majority of the pa patients if you see cross section of the society most of them would have some vague complaints of acidity or flatulence or distension of the abdomen if these things are persistently happening for more than 2 to 3 weeks it is important that you should get some minimal investigations like an endoscopy or a colonoscopy a tube pass through the mouth we call it as an endoscopy to see the upper part of the intestine and a tube pass through the anal canal to look at the large intestines or the larger part of the intestines coming from below so if you do this minimal investigations and also an ultrasound of the abdomen which covers the major uh, organs in the abdomen if there is something going wrong we can diagnose early cancer in the abdomen as well and patients have some problem like uh, passing blood in the stools this is a very common uh, symptom we should we should take it with a pinch of salt we definitely need to investigate such patients it could be a simple hemorrhoids or piles what we commonly call but a pile also can cause bleeding from while passing stools 
and also a cancer can call the similar problem. So we need to investigate by doing a simple examination by a doctor or a, a colonoscopy which would differentiate between a, a standard or a regular pile from a cancer of the rectum or anal canal. So uh, uh, this is a common symptom which we should, we should certainly uh, address.